Hi, Isaac from Link here. And in this video, we're gonna take a more detailed look into what information is required for tuning direct injection. Before putting a direct injection vehicle on the dyno, you'll need to know this information and how to get it. Many parts of a DI system need accurate characterizations. Gaining this information is complicated and requires specialist equipment. We estimate a full characterization from scratch will take a week or two, maybe longer. Prior to tuning a direct injection vehicle, we recommend you do a viability study to determine if time and resources required are justified by the benefits of tuning a direct injection engine. Let's run through the information that's needed. You'll need to know what type of direct fuel injectors you have, the more common solenoid type or piezo. This is important as most aftermarket ECUs cannot control piezo injectors. A Google search should be able to determine your injector type. On visual inspection, piezo injectors are typically smaller and more elaborate than their solenoid counterparts. The big clue for a solenoid injector is a large spherical metal bulge, which is not found on a piezo injector. To find an injector current profile, you will need to do some reverse engineering using an oscilloscope with a current probe. You'll need to capture and analyze the waveform generated by the injector to establish the peak current, hold current, and response times. This is done by disconnecting the injector harness and connecting the oscilloscope in series with the injector. You'll then need to configure the oscilloscope to capture the entire current waveform. Finally, turn the engine on to activate the injector and capture the current waveform generated by the injector. The waveform will show the current profile of the injector including initial peak current, which opens the injector, the hold current, which keeps the injector open, and the response times. Characterizing injectors requires an expensive piece of equipment called a flow bench that is specifically designed for direct injectors. You will need to measure various parameters under controlled conditions, such as flow rate and the injector dead times. You will need to know what type of fuel pump you have and whether it is normally open, normally closed, or pulse width modulation or PWM, as each type is controlled differently by the ECU and affects how fuel pressure is regulated in the fuel system. A normally open fuel pump means that the circuit is open, i.e. not allowing current to flow when the fuel pump is not activated. When the fuel pump needs to be activated, the circuit is closed, allowing the current to flow and activating the pump. This is a simple on-off control strategy. A normally closed fuel pump is the opposite with the circuit being closed until the fuel pump needs to be activated. PWM control allows for variable speed control of the fuel pump by rapidly turning it on and off at varying duty cycles. PWM allows for more precise control of the fuel pump compared to a simple on-off control. A Google search may be able to determine your fuel pump type. One trick to test if your fuel pump is normally open or closed is to unplug your fuel pump while the engine is running to see if the fuel rail pressure increases or decreases. If it's normally open, it will decrease. If it's normally closed, it will increase. To calculate the camshaft profile, you will need to measure the lift and duration of each cam lobe for the high pressure pump. Lift is the maximum height that the lobe raises the valve off its seat, and duration is the angle between when the lobe begins to lift the valve and when it returns to its seat. You will need this information to help determine the optimal timing for the fuel to be injected. To find this information yourself, you will require a dial gauge and a degree wheel. You will only need to establish the profile once per engine type. Measuring a direct injection fuel pump dead time is a complex task. The easiest way to get this information is from the factory ECU. If that is not possible, you'll need to find a way to reverse engineer it from the fuel pump. If you can get this information from your car's factory ECU, it will streamline your tuning time, though you can work this out on the fly as you tune. Link is looking to provide injector current profiles and camshaft profiles for some popular vehicles. And as time goes on, we will continue to provide more data for more and more vehicles. To see if we currently provide this information for your engine, please visit the DI driver support section on our website. The main benefit of using Link's characterizations are to save you a lot of time by not having to reverse engineer them yourself. Having Link provide you the injector current profile, injector flow characterization, and camshaft profile could tell you if it's feasible to tune a specific vehicle. Other benefits include knowing that the data you are using has been tested, 
being able to use the data to identify potential issues or limitations before you invest too much time in the project, allowing you to address any issues up front and simply allowing you to focus on the tuning itself. Once you've gathered all this information, you're ready to start tuning your direct injection powered vehicle on the dyno. Tuning direct injection is much the same as traditional port injection, though there are additional considerations to work through, such as injection timing and fuel rail pressure. To find out more, please visit the support section of our website at linkecu.com, our online forums, or contact our 24-6 tech support team. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. See you soon.